Hey guys, what's good? I'm Lonely Contrast. Welcome to the channel where I'll be discussing the latest in the Evil Dead franchise, the Chucky universe, and what's new from the horror genre and sci-fi. Don't forget to subscribe by tapping the notification bell. With your support, I'm able to deliver more horrific news, and this way you guys will never miss a video. Grab your crosses and your holy water. It looks like Evil Dead Rise has hinted where the next chapter is going. The anticipated sequel, Beetlejuice 2, is on the way with new details, and it looks like the Insidious universe is expanding with dread in an Insidious tale. If you guys saw Evil Dead Rise or haven't seen it yet but waited till it was ready to stream, then you know what I'm going to talk about. Unless there's still someone out there who haven't seen it yet. What are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? What are you waiting for? Fuck you! But all jokes aside, Evil Dead Rise was a financial success that delivered a great storytelling and non-stop gore with 142 million worldwide against a production budget between 15 and 19 million, making it the highest grossing film in the series. I'm rich, bitch! Remember when Danny discovered a couple of religious artifacts with three phonograph records from 1923? This also includes the Book of the Dead, the Necronomicon, which a mysterious voice in the recording describing it to be the third volume of the Naturum de Monte. You also hear the voice describing the rejected efforts by the priests to research the book. The voice also reveals that the priests continue to research in secret and recite the incantation. You know the rest after that. Lee Cronin confirmed that it was no other than Bruce Campbell himself who assisted in lending his voice in the film. When asked if Bruce was playing a new character or was playing Ash Williams, this is what Lee Cronin had to say. There's a Bruce Campbell cameo and that cameo potentially is actually Ash Williams. Think about how time travel works for Ash as a character. And that voice that you may hear is captured by something that was recorded 100 years ago and the fact that this particular line is a warning showcases somebody that knows more than the other people in the room. I know that sounds very cryptic but it's supposed to. This is also what Lee Cronin had to say on the Ash Williams cameo. Bruce came over to Ireland when we were working on the sounds and I asked him if he would do this teeny little tiny little cameo for me and the fun part is that that's not necessarily Bruce Campbell playing himself but that could very well be Ash Williams. Holy shit. Lee Quentin backed this claim by stating that this could be it also a time to space Ash Williams after Army of Darkness. I mean, it makes sense does it? What if Ash while sleeping actually woke up in the 1920s and was taken in by the church? So when the church takes in Ash, he explains what has he been through and the details of the book. So the church went against his wishes and recited the incantation and, well you know what, oh hell broke loose. And Lee Quentin did say he would love to see a movie about 100 priests and nuns becoming deadites and that one priest fending off all of them. Well, if it's a priest and not Ash Williams, but you, you understand what I'm saying, right? I can honestly see the franchise go this route, but not only to explore the book, but to explore what really happened during that time period. Now the question is, will we see Bruce Campbell in this movie or more like a young CGI face of him and an actor and Bruce lending his voice just like Mark Hamill did on The Mandalorian? I really hope we get this film because it will be a new chapter of Evil Dead that us, the fans, need right now. and. As season 4, Ash vs. Evil Dead, but you already know how I feel about that. The Ghost of the Most is back in Beetlejuice 2, starring original cast Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, and Captain O'Hara. With new cast members including Jenna Oterga as Lydia Dee's daughter, Justin Paul Theorex most likely playing Lydia's husband and father of Jenna Ortega's character, with William Dafoe in an unknown role and Monica Bolisi as Beetlejuice's wife. Ready to go Beetlejuice! Sid Burton will return in director's seat with a screenplay by Alfred Goh and Miles Miller. Alfred Goh and Miles Miller are known for as co-creators of Netflix Wednesday which serves as a spin-off of the Addams Family. And what makes the most intriguing is that Danny Elfman will be making a return to the franchise with longtime friend Tim Burton. So don't believe me? Then take a look at this clip. You guys have no idea how excited I am, I've been a fan of this iconic character since I was a child and decades later we are finally getting a sequel. 
The first film was released in 1988 and since then the film became a cult classic, even releasing an animated cartoon series which I love and grew up on. It's still unknown to what the premise of the sequel is, but I cannot wait for the film to be released September 6 of 2024. And let's not forget about Dread, an insidious tale starring Mandy Moore and Kumail Nanjiani, written and directed by Jeremy Slater. This will be Jeremy Slater's directorial debut. This film serves as the first spin-off from the Insidious franchise which debuted in 2010, making $100.1 million at the box office versus a budget of $1.5 million. I remember seeing this film years ago and forever creeped the hell out of me, especially that little boy dancing to Tiptoes Through the Tulips by Tiny Tim. Four films later, wait, make that five. Don't forget Insidious, The Red Door, which is coming out July 7th. It kind of makes sense we're getting a spin-off film from the franchise since all films have been a box office hit. So why not expand the universe? As to the premise and as to what and where this chapter takes place is still a mystery, but this film could either dive deep into the past and rediscover a great era as to maybe the origin of the Red Demon, or it could lead us straight into a different direction where the franchise has never gone yet. Only time can tell when we get there. If you enjoyed this video, please tap that like and share. Don't forget to leave a comment and check me out on Instagram. As always, thank you for watching and please be safe.